Brendan, tough game tonight, leading 2-0, uh, 3-2, uh, to two and losing in the overtime. How do you feel about the game? Yeah, it can't happen. Uh, you know, you got a two-goal lead at home. Uh, you got to find a way to hold on to it. And then, uh, you know, we're fortunate enough to go up 3-2 uh, late in the game there, and then they get a late goal. So that's something we can't let happen, uh, especially at home. Those were some important points to pick, and you lost in Zlin. Those are our neighbors in the table. So how does that feel? Yeah, it's not good. Those are, you know, some uh, real important games we just had. And uh, unfortunately, we were only able to get one point out of the last two games. And, um, you know, when we're fighting for a uh, 10 spot with uh, teams that are real close, you know, you need to find a way to bear down and, you know, get get a win against them. He scored tonight on a 5 on 3 power play. And it looked like it uh, didn't uh, went the way you wanted it. It was like second attempt shot or something like that. So. Yeah, yeah. It was just uh, Nasher made a great play, and uh, you know, it was just I don't want to say I wasn't ready for it. I wanted the puck, but uh, you know, uh, I was able to just take a second whack at it, and luckily it went in. Most of the time during the power play, you spent uh, on the right wing, uh, uh, you know, close to the boards and shooting those cross pass. So, do you feel comfortable here on the right wing? Yeah, yeah. That's. Uh, you know, comfortable in that spot and, you know, between switching from there in the middle, uh, you know, we just, you know, we need to find a way to get the power play going uh, consistently because, you know, that's some big points uh, that we can get if we get a couple goals on the power play. How does it feel to be a fourth liner but playing power plays at the same time? <laughs> yeah, it's, you know, you don't really, I don't know uh, if there's a huge, uh, Disparity between uh, line one through four. I think we're pretty evenly balanced. So, um, you know, biggest thing is you want to get chemistry with uh, and get with players, and you know, you know what they're they're going to do. It makes it a lot easier to play. And I think uh, me, Cowley, and Heine have developed a bit of chemistry. So, you know, it's, I think it's it's been a been a good good fit. I noticed your little daughter uh, attending the games lately. So, how does she like that? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I can't. She's Czech, so I don't understand her. But. Uh, um, no, she's attended her, her last, uh, her, her first few games, and uh, I've seen her on the Jumbotron a couple of times, so it uh, gives me a smile throughout the game, and, you know, gives my, my wife a chance to get out of the house, so uh, I think it's, you know, it's good. The 2019 is over, and there's 2020 ahead of us, so what's your New Year's resolution? Don't have one, you know, nothing changes. Uh, it's just another day that goes by, so uh, in 20... 2020, I think you know our goal for a team is uh, you know we gotta gotta get in the playoffs and try and make a push. But um, you know it starts with that first game after the break or after the in 2020. So.